Hello, everyone. I am Jane Galena, also known as Airplane Jane, with your Daily Five today. So let's go ahead and get into it. If you guys are brand new to me, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, my website, cjntrade.com, and also Ticker Talker. If you all ever have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me at jane at cjntrade.com. So let's get into the charts for today. My first chart for today is going to be Microsoft. Why? Well, this is the 60 minute chart on Microsoft. And in this short term period, we are starting to see that there is a bit of a downward trend. Now, is this going to continue? If you guys are not new to following me, you know that I do follow the dark pools. We have had some dark pool activity on Microsoft as well as the next one, Apple. So very curious to see where we will be going from here. Like I said, in this shorter term time period, we are in a bit of a downward trend. We do have three black crows on our daily chart. And if we do break down below that 200 level, watch out, that might be a very big indication that we are starting to roll over on the large tech stocks and the rest of the market might follow. We are at a precipice up at the top, up with the SPY and the Qs up setting a double top somewhat. So let's go forward with Apple. All right, uh, I also wanted to mention the short volume. As you can see, the short volume on, the, uh, on Microsoft is increasing somewhat. And when we go to Apple, we do have a bit of a slight upward channel. They came forward with their forward split, one for four coming out August 31st, there was an insurgence of volume back here, and we are above all of that for now. We are continuing to hold that, and again, we did have dark pool volume here, so I'm looking to see, are we going to go ahead and hold above it, or are we going to break down below that dark pool volume level, and it was selling volume. So we shall see. As far as the insurgence of confidence with Apple, the volumes, excuse me, I put the wrong chart there. The volume for shorting has decreased. There's a lot of confidence in buying in Apple at the moment. With Amazon, Amazon had selling with Bezos for the second time. First time was back in February, actually end of January, 10 days before we had the rollover in February. Jeff Bezos sold off $2 billion worth. Well. Last week, August 3rd, August 4th, Bezos sold off $3 billion. Now, if we use this somewhat as an indicator, that was 10 trading days before we sold off. That means that we might have a rollover coming next week. So I'm very interested to see where we go from this point, because if Bezos might have an advisor that says, hey, maybe it's a good time to take your money out, and he might know what's going on with the market, then that could be a catalyst that we might use in the future. Hey, watch to see what he's doing. We do have a bit of a downward channel again on Amazon for the 60 minute chart. So looking to see if we can break that 3000 support level. If we break that 3000 support level, watch out. We do have volume that came in at 3050 and would be watching that as an indicator that our support might be broken. When we do put Apple and Microsoft together, they're the top two holdings of the SPY and the Qs. Now, Apple, again, this, excuse me, SPY on this chart is a 60 minute chart. And when we look at it, it looks like it's slowly rolling over. Actually, just before shooting this today, I went ahead and exited my position because I saw that it looked like potential selling up near 337. Confirmation will be if we continue this downward trend. And if we break that 335, 50 simple moving average on our 60 minute chart, watch out, we could be going down to 325 as a test. And you can see we did have big volume that came in on August 12th. It pulled back to that 50 simple moving average on our 60 minute chart and it bounced. So if we have that 50 simple moving average and it's no longer holding, that's going to be an indication to me that potentially those algorithms that are set up to buy on the 50 simple moving average 
are no longer there. They might have turned on a sell algorithm or simply turn them off so that there's no more buying. Now, without a lot of market makers making the market and it mostly being electronic, these algorithms can play a role on a very quick decline in the market. So if they have started to turn them off, we could see slowly the levels start dropping for support. Once they flip back on, we've seen the past six months, we had an amazing recovery a v-shaped recovery up to this point now what's interesting yesterday with the fed they were saying kaplan said we are not going to have a v-shaped recovery for the economy well we've had that with the market so is that a signal that things might be rolling over here as well not sure i'm very skeptical after following the dark pools that sometimes there's hidden messages in political agenda all right next one we do have the short volume for the spies here. This is correct. We are seeing that people are still shorting all the way up. Ever since February, I have tracked the short volume daily. So this is the volume overall for the day. So yesterday was 22 million. And of that 14 million and change were reported to FINRA as short. So when we see this, that's a confidence that a lot of people are thinking the market's going to go down. However, it has been roughly over 50% since middle of the March when we started to recover. So people have been very stubborn. It happened with Tesla, happened with silver, going on with XRT, as we mentioned last week, we've had a short squeeze. So seeing that the confidence of Microsoft and Apple, people are starting to still buy into it. Now we're seeing that the indexes are still being shorted, which is squeezing the indexes. And as those stocks continue to the upside, then we have a short squeeze on the indexes. And with the Qs, you can see here on the hourly chart that we seem to have a bit of a double top right up here around the 275 area. If we go ahead and we break down below that 265 support, again, that 50 simple moving average, Actually, that's gonna be the 200 simple moving average down here at 264 roughly. If we break 264 on the 60 minutes, watch out, especially if we start to get the dark pool volume above us. Right now, we're up at the highs. All of that volume is below us. So we are bullish until proven otherwise in the markets, in my opinion. So we're starting to see a bit of a pullback. We're starting to see heavy dark pool activity back in February. It took them roughly two to three weeks to finish all of their selling before they went ahead and said, you know what, we're ready to take it down. We've laid all of our positions, the tracks are laid, let's take this train down the hill. If you guys wanna see, here is the volume for shorting the queues, right? So again, people are still shorting it over 50%. So it could go ahead and drive it up everybody wants to pick the top however when egos are involved in trading many times that increases losses when we see the chart we see the pullbacks and we trade the charts that one that's when the profits happen and you have your plan again if you guys want to learn more about the dark pools please come over and visit us at thedarkpools.com or bit.ly slash training pit I do teach there twice a week on Mondays and Thursdays and would love to help educate you guys more about the TARC pool and help profit like the really big hedge fund managers. That's my daily five for today. I hope you have an amazing day and Carpe Profit sees those profits one trade at a time. Hey, Grayson Rose here with Stock Charts. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, consider giving it a like down below, maybe leave us a comment. And if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe at the link up above. We're gonna bring you daily content from an incredible collection of technical analysts and financial experts.